Hi friends, this is a middle school folk style wrestling matches. Enjoy watching and let me clarify what are the differences between folk style, freestyle and Greco Roman. Many of the best wrestlers in the United States compete in three uniquely different styles folk style, freestyle and Greco Roman. Folk style simply means native style. Some say that the United States is the only country to have folk style wrestling, which simply isn't true. There are hundreds of other of countries with folk style wrestling. Iceland has Glima, Turkey has oil wrestling, Japan has sumo, uh, and uh, you say folk style is high school and college eight uh, wrestling. Freestyle and uh, Greco-Roman are used for international oh, competitions, namely the World Championship and the Thank Olympic you, Games. Freestyle has similarities to American folk style system, while Greco-Roman is uniquely different from the other two. American folk style and uh, freestyle allow leg attacks, and Greco-Roman doesn't. All Greco-Roman attacks must Marcus, be uh, above right the waist. Here. Touching legs in Greco-Roman results in a penalty uh -oh. or a foul. Taking your opponent oh. off his or her feet and exposing your opponent's uh -oh, back to the mat one. is the objective in all three styles. Think of Greco-Roman as boxing and folk style and freestyle wrestling as kickboxing. Up. Boxing only allows yeah, strikes to the body and head. While kickboxing allows oh, strikes to the head, body, and legs. No, they only gave him two. Folk style and freestyle allow leg attacks, but there are a variety of differences Line between up. the two. The biggest difference is that the American folk style system rewards control and freestyle rewards execution. Freestyle wrestling is just that. A freestyle of wrestling. Points come faster and matches often and quicker. Folk style won't have as many throws since referees will stop any potentially dangerous moves. Greco Roman, as mentioned above, only allows attacks above the waist, which often leads to spectacular throws. This can also lead to low scoring matches since attacks are limited to half of the body. Marcos Securing your opponent's shoulders to Head the mat, oh. known as a pin or a fall, a is an effective way to end the match. This a is universal match. between all three styles and is the ultimate goal Here of wrestling. Riley. The match no ends That's and the Riley. winner is Here's declared Ryan once a fall Woodall is secured. American champ. folk style system calls it a technical fall while freestyle and Greco-Roman call it a technical superiority. The concept is the same. Outscore your opponent by a specified number of points and the match ends early. So, uh, uh, oh, let's see current point threshold for each down. style to end the match early. Folk style 15 main. points, freestyle 10 points and Greco-Roman just eight points. All three styles uh, begin right with both a wrestler ball. standing. The object you know, is to take your opponent right off his off or off off her uh, feet and secure points. Takedown is worth three points in college freestyle or folk style and two points in high school folk oh. style. But takedowns can be worth two, two four or five points five. in freestyle. Nothing. And Greco Roman, depending on how the move is executed. Folk style wrestling requires uh, the top wrestler to hold the bottom wrestler in a danger position for two to five seconds to secure points, known as a near fall. While freestyle and Greco Roman require the top wrestler to expose his or her opponent's back for a split second to score, known as exposure. Freestyle and Greco-Roman matches can end quickly 
if a wrestler secures a takedown and earns multiple exposures, worth two points, in sequence. Folk style matches require the top wrestler to hold an opponent on his or her back multiple times for multiple seconds to tabulate enough points for a technical fall. Reversals involve stopping an opponent when he or she is in the top position and reversing the situation. A reversal is worth two points in folk style and one point in Greco-Roman and uh, freestyle. Escape. A point is awarded in folk style if the bottom wrestler gets out from underneath, faces his or her opponent and gets to the standing position. And there are no escapes in freestyle and Greco-Roman, but the referee will stand for wrestlers on their feet after several seconds if neither wrestler scores from Parter French for on the mat. Folkstyle matches consist of um, three periods, while freestyle and Greek Roman consist of two periods with a 30 second break between each. Matches will always end after six minutes during freestyle and Greco-Roman matches. Criteria are used to declare the winner if a match is tied at the end of a regulation. Folk style matches use an overtime system uh, to declare a winner if matches are tied in regulation. There are some rules in folk style. To pin your opening in folk style you must hold your opening to their back for two seconds. During folk style competition you can only lock your hands while trying to pin or trying to take down your opening, but not while riding, that is clasping and is illegal. An alternative way to end your match early would be being a technical superiority. To do so, in folk style competition you must be beating your opponent by uh, 15 points. So if you practice wrestling then freestyle and Greco-Roman will improve your overall technique and skills. Freestyle and Greco-Roman wrestling have different rules and scoring systems than folk style wrestling, which can help you develop new moves and techniques that you can use in your folk style matches. In folk style wrestling uh, there are technical violations, uh, they include avoiding wrestling by leaving the mat, grabbing clothing or headgear, incorrect starting position, locked hands. Ok, I hope I clarified enough of, about differences between three styles of wrestling. See you next time guys! And here he went with the deep half and finished him off.